Hello guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Miranda and I have glasses. These actually are not prescription. They're from a brand called Firmu. Um, I'll be making a whole video all about um, makeup for glasses wearers because I feel like that would be super duper helpful and I think that'd be cute but I just got them today and I want to wear them in this video. But okay as you can tell by the title um, I'm hungover and I just wanted to do a video of me getting ready because I have work today and if I did not work I would have stayed in bed but I cannot do that here's what I've come up with I've just had a little chat I'm sorry in advance if I seem um, aggravated or if my tone of voice isn't super cheerful because at the beginning of this video I felt worse than I do now so I'm feeling better a little bit just gotta drink some water and then I'll feel great but yeah like I don't intend to sound rude or anything I don't intend to sound like I'm being a jerk or anything like that I kind of rant a little bit I feel like Harry Potter I've never even seen the movie but that's just what I'm distracted by right now but I like it oh I just like it. okay anyway um but yeah it's not my intention to sound like a shit I don't want comments on my voice. I mean, like, you sound rude. You sound like a bitch. Like, dude. I felt, like, blah at the beginning of this video. So, but yeah. If you want to see how I did this look. And I just have a little rant chat. Dilly do. Then, just keep on watching. Also, thank you guys so, so much for 5,000 subscribers. Holy macaroni. You know, I was thinking about this earlier today. Not today. Maybe it was yesterday. I don't remember. But I was thinking about like words that rhyme with like holy moly. Like holy moly guacamole. That sounds the same. Holy moly. Stromboli. Anyway, yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> Even though I am a shit. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into the video. Hey. like shit. We're gonna moisturize because fuck. We just need it, okay? Also, everyone in the fucking comments, you can like not mention my acne because I'll actually punch you in the face. Most of it's just scarring aside from this planet, but that's fine. I like the galaxy so it can be here for now. Now we're gonna prime because, you know what, I'm gonna fucking use this shit, this powder, like, can you prime with powder? I don't see why not, I'm not gonna do that, I lied, I'm just gonna use my normal primer, it's the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer, I like this stuff a lot, cause I want my skin to be smooth. Maybe one day I'll do a drunk makeup tutorial. Like, those are really funny to watch, I feel like. So, maybe one day. Though, after today, I just really don't like drinking. <laughs> I, I really don't um, that often. I was really mad about something. And that's why I drink. <laughs> and it was fun. I had a few glasses of champagne. And it tasted nice. And it was pink, so that made me happy. It was like rose champagne. And now I have to work. And I just feel like I'm sick. Like, I feel sick. But, like, not that I have a fever. But, like, you know, when your body is just like tired. That's how I feel today. So, foundation, I'm gonna use my Lancome Tin Edel 24 hour shit. I'm gonna do like really glowy skin because like yesterday I looked really cute and my skin just looked really good. So I'm gonna do what I did yesterday. Then I'm gonna take more because some of us aren't lucky like other girls on YouTube where they can just do one layer and their skin looks good while I'm still fucking ugly. <laughs> 
Like, wow, what a fucking concept of having clear skin. What a dream. That's goals that I'll never achieve, to be honest, because my skin doesn't like me. Then, concealer. I'm using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind thing in the lightest shade for my under eyes. Now it's time for eyebrows. Yay! Anastasia Dip Brow Shit in um, Ash Brown. First, I'm gonna take my brush again because I have a fucking wrinkle on my forehead and like it's good to like make sure that there's no wrinkles on your face when you set with powder otherwise you're basically setting your wrinkles and then they just chill there forever same with your eyes and stuff you want to make sure that when you set concealer that um, there's no creasing because nobody wants creases, am I right, ladies and men who do their makeup and shit? Oh shit. The powder I'm using is my Pokemon one because I like it a lot. It's a little bit um, darker than my skin, but um, it smells nice. And I feel like with the rest of my face powder, makeup on, uh, you can't tell. So like... Who cares? My face is still lighter than my neck, which is good. Now we're gonna contour. And I have a video of how I contour and highlight that I'll have. I wanna say it should be on this side because I'm pretty sure my camera shows it opposite than how it is on YouTube. And people like to tell me that I have a big nose. Like, no shit! That's why I contour it, you dumb fucks. Like, dude, I live with my nose every day. I think I'm aware of the size. Thanks, Jennifer. Sorry if your name's Jennifer. I'm sure you're nice, but if you talk about my nose, you're not fucking nice. <laughs> you know, a lot of people will, like, comment on stuff and say, like, that they're happy that my channel is growing or that like I deserve more subscribers and it's like that's not why I do YouTube um honestly um I don't think I would enjoy being like super relevant on YouTube I probably never will be but just because um, people are so mean and I'm kind of super tired of people acting like, well, you chose to be online. You should expect to get treated like shit, basically. And it's like, no. Just because someone's online, whether or not they're a popular account, like, there's not a guide on how you're supposed to act or how you're supposed to feel. You know, there's not like a Social media 101. Well, maybe there might be a book out now by now about it somewhere in the world about Instagram and YouTube and shit, but There's no book that tells you what's gonna happen like when you start out a channel Or an account like there's no guarantee that you're gonna blow up and be like a person that People think is cool or something so I feel like to tell people that they should expect it is like, no you shouldn't, um, maybe you should teach your children how to not be an ass. Maybe if you are the ass, you should like, take a reality check, look in the mirror, stop being a piece of shit, just saying. What was I saying? I don't know. Uh, oh yeah, I wouldn't want to be like super big on you. Oh shit, I'm using my NARS Super Orgasm blush, by the way. No, yeah. Yeah, uh, I feel, oh god, I feel so bad. <laughs> um, 
yeah, I wouldn't want to be really big on YouTube, I don't think, just because people are super mean. And like, I feel like people on YouTube just expect so much out of who they're subscribed to. And it's like, YouTubers are people too. Do you like not get that? I get that sometimes um, it's their job and that it's what they do all day. <laughs> And that's um, how they make money. I get that in the sense that, yeah, you should make content because um, your subscribers are the reason why you're able to make money off of it and live. <laughs> but, like, still, I feel like when people, like, have a schedule and they, like, break it, people get, like, really mad and it's like, dude, just, like, y'all need chill. It's not that deep, like, it's just a fucking YouTube video. And I feel like that's, well, my content is shit anyway. I'm taking a brow pencil to, like, draw on the freckles that I already have because foundation covers them. So, yeah, I'm really just drawing them over the ones already on my nose. They're very faint. Um, anyway, I just feel like do like youtubers can have mental health so I feel like every youtuber has a mental health issue but it is very common so it's not like I'm doubting it yeah um I don't really care if people watch my videos or not it's nice that people do and I oh yeah thank you guys for 5,000 subscribers I feel like I've got like 5.1 now um but that's wild because I'm so irrelevant and like not entertaining <laughs> especially today like I said this video is probably not even gonna go up but we'll see how I feel about it when I'm not feeling like shit but um yeah <sighs> I don't even know what I want to do I'm just gonna oh oh skin we're doing the skin still so I'm gonna take I'm gonna highlight now which usually I don't highlight until last but I'm doing what I did yesterday so I'm taking my Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette which I just recently got and it's so beautiful um I actually got my own now in um, my Queen Serenity video I had borrowed my friends but now I have my own because Anastasia put it back in stock so that's neat I'm gonna use the shade glow getter because it's so beautiful I didn't think I would like the golds but like, hello, hello, hi, hi, how you doing? Great, me too, except not really. But it's gonna make me look like I'm not dying inside. Oh, can any of you guys tell me if you guys also watch Ingrams? Because like, I just feel like I always use, not in my videos, but just like in general, I always use like references from them. I have like a proper video tutorial shit thing on a yellow look which is way better than this trash that I'm making today I feel like the internet is just so like mean and people are just so fucking mean dude for no reason and granted it's always been like that like I'm not saying it's like this new thing like duh but it's like, you would not say half the shit to the person that you're insulting up to their face because you're a pussy ass bitch. So like, why do people think it's okay to do it online? Because it just makes you look really fucking dumb. Especially when it's like someone that you've never met, which is usually, which is like 98% of online hate is to people that you haven't even met and it's like how can you dislike someone that much i don't know about you but maybe maybe take up a hobby while you're out being a puss i'm out doing my own thing um you know i watch danny man city and i watch acacia who's about to have a fucking baby holy shit but it's like, their mentions are always just so fucking dumb. And it's like, that's why I don't want to be important on YouTube. Because 
Jesus Christ, like, it's not that shit would hurt my feelings. I would just be so annoyed. Like, all the time. And I don't need that in my life, you know? Like, it wouldn't bother me. It wouldn't get to me, I don't think. But, like, dude. Yeah, I came home and that's kind of why there was just like a gap of nothing. Um, can we talk about something for a, a quick moment? Is that like people will like go on Tumblr and they'll send me like anonymous messages saying I'm rude. But it's like, where? Where though? Like, I feel like people just read my tone of voice as rude when I'm really not being rude um, I'm very blunt and I feel like people consider that to be rude but if you're an anonymous on tumblr being rude to me first I'm gonna be rude back I feel like there's like this made up rule or something that people on the internet aren't allowed to be rude back and it's like dude I'm allowed to stand up for myself I don't give a single fuck what you've been through. I don't care if you've been through trauma and shit. That gives you no reason, no excuse to treat someone that you don't know or even someone that you do know unless they're like the problem. Like, just because you've been through shit doesn't mean you get a free ride to be an asshole for no reason to people. Like, sorry, but like, when you're depressed and want to kill yourself that's not an excuse to be abusive and manipulative like yo acknowledge that you're problematic because everybody can be problematic everyone's going to be problematic but acknowledge it but seriously like if you're rude to me first I'm not gonna be nice back um I don't really give a shit about the be the better person. Like, bitch, the fuck. Sometimes, most of the time I am. But if I'm in the mood to defend myself, I'm going to. Just because I have a lot of followers, not on here, but on um, Tumblr and Instagram, I'm allowed to defend myself. Like I was saying before, I shouldn't expect and just deal with being treated badly. Sorry, but I'm not that kind of person that's just gonna take it and be like, oh, it's not a big deal. Like, dude, treating someone shitty is a big deal. Like, sorry, but you don't get away with that. Like, I'm gonna call you out, and if that makes me rude, then yeah, I'm rude for being rude back to a rude person to begin with. I don't understand why people will choose to um it's almost as if they side with the person being rude to begin with and it's like you shouldn't treat them that way it's like they shouldn't be treating me like that way to begin with like sorry sarah not how life works honey bunch <laughs> i didn't mean for this to be like ranty but i just got a message on tumblr saying i was rude and it's like where when i get told nice things i am so nice back and I'm so appreciative of nice comments, but when people are sending me anonymous messages that are very rude, I'm going to be rude back. Like, what do you expect for me to just laugh it off or just delete it? So, most of the time I do delete messages, honestly. 
um, or rude comments. Like usually I don't re reply, but when I do, I'm rude. Like bitch the fuck. A non needs to not be a con either. Just saying. It takes two people to have a conversation if one of them is being rude. Chances are, the person receiving it is going to be rude back. Like if someone was being rude to your friend, you would stand up for your friend. So like, what's the difference in me standing up for myself, you know? Or just anyone for that matter, it's not even just about me. It's just about anybody that has a large following can seemingly never have feelings or lash back even though it is a natural human instinct and response to lash back and defend themselves that is a natural response to have or how people are this isn't about me but i see it a lot is that when people sometimes focus on hate people are like well you get so many nice comments like you only pay attention to hate that is the human brain's natural response to um float towards, I can't think of the word, to gravitate towards focusing on negativity. That is just a natural human response to take a negative thing and harvest it. So like stop being mad at people for getting their feelings hurt. That is a natural human response. Like let people have feelings. I don't understand. But like seriously. Let people defend themselves. You would defend yourself, you would defend your friend, and you'd want your friend to defend themselves. So, same thing goes towards people that you don't know. Just saying, just saying. Just an idea! Just an idea. I think people like don't talk about that. And it's like important to talk about, I feel like, at least. Yeah. Yo, this is good. Okay, I'm feeling better, so I'm gonna go and lay down and drink a lot of water before I have to go to work. I'm starting to get a headache, probably because I'm not drinking water. But, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful Friday, which, uh, I'm not sure when I'll have this video up because, let's be real here, I had to work all weekend, so you never know. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you so, so much. Thank you again to 5,000 subscribers. I know this is like the weirdest video for me to be saying that in, but I really do appreciate it. And I'm sorry if I was like angry throughout this video, but I, if I'm hungover. I don't know what people expect. I feel like crap. I'm feeling better than I did, but still a little bit poopy. But yeah, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!